Alrighty, so it's a brand new day in the Commonwealth. And I have been given permission by my children to play one more, to, to do one more video. They are totally happy hanging out and it's school holidays, so there's no, you know, there's a lot less restrictions and rules around things. So, we've been kind of powering through, haven't we? Powering away, powering away, hacking away at the settlements. Now, I think I'm going to slowly make my way around here, over to here. We're not going to rush. And we're going to explore along the way any locations we need to. Oh, one note. Um, I've made a slight alteration to the video quality. I've been noticing a little bit of a frame stutter, micro stutter, in some of the videos that I've done more recently and I'm trying to identify exactly what it is. So I've just lowered the settings slightly. So if the set if the settings of this video are not the best, bear with it and I'll review it after this. And if it's no good, if it's not good enough, if it doesn't affect the stutter or if it's whatever, you know, I'll adjust it. If it, if the quality is not good enough, I'll make changes in another area of, of the video. So just be aware. And if, this, if the quality of this is a little bit blurry or something, then just bear with it. The next one, things will be different. Thank you. So. We're heading this way. We're going to stop off. Because our resources need to be attended to. You know, we're getting a little bit low on some kind of essential elements. Hmm. We've got a bunker of some sort over there. Are we anywhere near? Do we have a few missions around, don't we? Mind you, they're miles away, I think. So we're not going back that way. We're just going to sort of push our way up and around here. There's probably a load, of, a load of things to explore that way. Let's head this way for now. There is somewhere there. It's been a while since we've seen some of these guys. We don't have any levels. For now. Actually, it doesn't look like there's very much over... Okay, so... I wonder if it's across the water, or is it the end of this... Looks like it might be here. Let's go check it out. And we have this now, do we? Yes, yeah, so I wish... I should have got this silenced, I think. We don't have a silenced handgun. We have this. But it doesn't have a lot of ammo now. So, a sh did I just see what I think I saw? Yes. Okay. So, we're not going this way. For sure, we are not going that way. All right, then we'll continue going around. Scavenging what we can. The more I play this pack, the more the more I fall in love with it. But the more I play this, the more scared I become for Zombieland Conquest, knowing that I've removed the loot from from zombies and things, you know. But there are more settlements, and and uh, you know NPCs and raiders and things. So that'll balance itself out, I think. But yeah, just just having an absolute blast with this pack. I really can't wait to see what the team Screaming Lake and the team do for the survival iteration, or what all the changes they're going to make. 
to incorporate some kind of hardcore survival option or just more more survival-esque i don't know he's still as far as i know he's still making his mind up exactly which way he's gonna go with the pack but i think uh watching watching you know some of the the way that people have been playing the game has made has got him thinking about the potential of what it could become or you know what it what it could also be there was a bit of talk in the discord about it last night and there's a lot of people myself included who really just love it the way that it is but it obviously inspired the zombie land conquest series because there's still room for that as well like there's still a huge as far as i'm concerned with regards to official packs there's like like even ghoul out never touched on the proper walking dead setup where there's settlements the, the world is overrun ghoul out had the same approach with the fallout 76 open world where it just eradicated all npcs so the whole world was taken over by zombies and robots there's there was robots i think there were robot vendors and stuff i could be wrong about that but still with regards to all the packs that are available at least from what i understand um you know the ones with settlements human settlements and npcs are lacking so maybe that's what I don't, I don't know if he's sort of leaning into that or not, but there's room for it for sure. A proper zombie apocalypse experience. That also takes into account other survivors, not just you. So anyway, yeah, that's, you know, Screaming Lake's doing a little bit of work, I think. To move it in a little, little bit more of a difficult direction optionally so people can opt in to it if they want to which i think is awesome really so excited about that Ourselves a tough zombie here. Yeah, so I don't think it'll be anything like Zombieland Conquest. What he what he produces, but you know, something a bit more challenging and hardcore, less uh, less easy to get resources and weapons. Like as you can see, you know, we've got an absolute ton of weapons, even just on us. And at all of our bases. So, anyway, that's that. So, we're heading up there. Oh, yeah, we're kind of going around here. So, we're all right. We're in a good place. What have we got here, then? Hell, yeah. What is it? Beach station. Wow, okay. So the subway really does extend over the whole Commonwealth. Like you would not expect a railway station to emerge at the beach, really, would you? But it does. Which is pretty cool. I think. meaty sounding gun isn't it problem is it's loud so it's probably going to attract some friends what have we got here wow okay be a little bit in here for us to scavenge some kind of arcade glowing zombies abound 
Ouais. Oh, what did I do here? Did I do that? I only have one token. Oh, wow. Frag grenades, 15 tokens. Shit. I like this gun. It's got to be said. Yeah, so I feel very strong now, which is why you know, all those hits hardly did anything to us, really. So these normal zombies, not bad. If anything, the, the more sort of higher level zombies are still, you know, still got to sort of pay attention to them, especially the spitters and the brutes and the lickers, I think. Um, but... Did you see that? We just automatically regenerated our limb. At some point, I think I've picked up a perk somewhere. Or a skill, or something. Or an armor piece, or something, you know. Because I've noticed that a couple times. We got there, eventually. Yeah, I can see why there's a bit of a... You know, a bit of concern from Screaming Lake on behalf of this pack when it comes to the more... Like, putting this, if you want to play this on survival... It's just... It's too easy, really. Maybe not right at the beginning, but you very quickly... Reach the point where you don't have to worry about most encounters what on earth is that what is that so you know i can see why he wants to make sure it's tailored f to that or can be for people you know people who want to play it on survival because once you get to this point i mean there's never really been any kind of threat for food water Although I, I suppose I don't really know until... Because I haven't played it on survival. But there's definitely room for adjustments. Okay, let's not do that. this place then I honestly think one of the best things you could do is just remove the loot from the zombies. Change. It would change so much in terms of what you can, you know, how you can survive. But I've said that before, so let's get off the subject. And on to... The subject of where the hell is this place? Reeb Marina. I don't think I've ever heard of this place before.
I just want to say to I mean, I know this is, wow, listen to that reverb. Don't worry, I'll give you another chance to hear it. Oh my goodness. That just, I don't know, it just does something to you, doesn't it? So, what I was going to say is, I know it's a little bit cheesy, in a way, but you know, I would like to say thank you to everyone watching at the moment, just for checking out the videos, you know, the, the channel mainly. And I thank Screaming Lake for this, because I, I knew this would happen because of this series, Ground Zero. Because of what it is, I just knew what it was going to become, you know, the mod pack, I mean. Uh, I had a feeling it was going to be a major boost to the channel and for people to watch content and for me to create stuff so you know i thanked him for that basically straight away um when i created before i just before i created episode one but i want to say you know thanks to everyone who is watching the videos there's loads of uh sort of regular what do you call return support now people who are watching multiple videos and coming back to watch more more videos and um, subscribers are really building so you know i just want to say thank you to everyone who is you know, becoming a part of the channel, subscribing, saying hello, and really just watching the videos and uh, giving me that support. So, uh, you know, you can expect this to become a regular thing. The channel growth, the channel maintenance, regular uploads is what I'm trying to say. There'll be, you know, it's going to continue from my end is what I'm trying to say. So I hope you're enjoying the content and thank you for checking it out. And I'm doing a lot of preliminary mental preparation for, like, once you hit the point of a thousand subscribers where you can, you know, you get your community tab and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm already thinking along the lines of how I'm going to give back to you guys, give back to the community and offer things for people to uh, to enjoy, to join the channel for and that sort of thing. So... So yeah, look out for that, and just, in general, just thanks for, thanks for checking out the videos and sticking around. Honestly, I think in all of the videos I've posted so far, I've only gotten two like two dislikes out of everything that I've ever posted. Which is amazing, actually, and I know that'll change with more views, but, and I don't really care about it, but I'm just saying. Right. I appreciate I appreciate the time that everybody puts into watching and the positive feedback it means a lot and I can tell it's going to continue to mean a lot for my life so thanks okay so we've got our favorite friends hanging out with us right now We're about to die. Yeah, we were pretty low on health there. Low health. So, you can see there is still a bit of a challenge. It's nice to see. I'm not freaking out, panicking, sort of... intensely, as I was. Although, that was a little bit of a panic moment. Is that right? Yeah, just a second, guys. Alright, let's, uh, let's take a step back. I think I've just had to use my last stim pack. Which is good. It's been a while since we've had a bit of a challenge like this. Even those last two base sieges didn't offer too much of a challenge. We are going to have to run here, I think. Jesus, no, we can't, we can't. All right. We can admit defeat. Check out our radiation down there. Now, yeah, we don't have either much or any stim packs left. Is this somewhere I can go or not? Well, I mean, I can hang out here, can't I? And drink the water, I suppose. The sea water. I 
pretty cool to see these objects floating here. Didn't really realise there was like current physics for the drains. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so we might have to kind of cheese our way into a bit of health here. Oh, wow. Since when do we have... Oh, no, we don't have 12 stim packs. That's because it's bound to the 12 key or the equals key. We have one stim pack. Let's get that right away into us. Just sit here and cheese a little bit of water. We'll go back to that area, but I think we'll have to do a little bit of sniping. Okay, how are we looking here? Got a ton of these. Just take a few of them. A little bit of food. Be interesting to give this pack a go on survival as it is and just see how it feels. Okay. We do have a level up. We're going to go this one. We've been lagging behind a bit on these shotgun, rifleman, gunslinger. Yeah, see, so there's an issue here, isn't there? The stars are actually hidden behind this poster. Which makes it difficult to see. More difficult to see where you're at. It's a bit weird, that, isn't it? But anyway. I kind of wanted the robotics expert, too, if I remember rightly, for... This one, yeah, for, for one of the base build things, you know, There's de the defense things. Okay, I'm at that point where I've done a lot of con a lot of videos today and played a lot of Fallout and my brain is starting to get a little bit scrambled when it comes to speaking. <laughs> so uh, forgive me for that. Now we're going to head... actually quite a long journey this isn't it what we've taken here maybe we don't need to go back to where we just were although we do don't we because it's kind of the way we're going yeah it is let's have a little scan around here what am i stuck on We do have a ton of ammo for this gun. Okay. <laughs> Extracting loot from the butthole. Is this is where uh the super mutants are, right? Or is there a, there's another place similar to this? Yeah, I don't think it's this one. There's another one somewhere. Well, it could be this one. Yeah, it might be this one. I've been here once upon a time. Can I? Nope. Yeah, isn't there a gun somewhere? Stashed around here or something, I forget. What's this thing? Here we go. Missile launcher. Sometimes forget there's no fall damage with this suit. And uh, there's no way up here too, apparently. What have we got in here? Super glue, was it? Okay, so there's not too much here then. In the way of resources. Is 
US culvert operations permanently more difficult to detect while sneaking. Well, that's always nice. Okay, I do believe this is probably cleared now. Let's get a save in. So I hear that the uh, there's a bit of a bug with the, the... You know when you jump out of a tall building and you hit the floor and it creates the slam effect? I hear you have to do it in third person in order for it to, to work. We might actually save ourselves a little bit of prob probable hassle. Go around this way. Got a feeling it's going to be a little bit more dangerous there. Those spitters are still a problem. I'll give you. I'll give you that. They are by far, by far. They, they are by far the worst enemy in the game. Like, they, they far outweigh the difficulty of everything else. The Lickers are tough. The Brutes are tough. But the Lickers, you know, your headshots kill. These things, just everything about them. The fact that they're ranged. The, the damage of their attack. The way they move. The, the speed with which they move. The amount of them that you encounter. At once, they just far outweigh everything else. And the only thing that I think that could be worse than a spitter like that is if some of them could fly, honestly. Like if they could fly and attack you in swarms. You know, I think there's not much worse you can get than these creatures, these abominations. Still curious to see if there are any other enemy types that we haven't encountered yet, because I know once upon a time I thought I'd seen it all. Boy, was I so wrong. What are we looking at here? Awesome. Okay, he's not dead. Oh my god. Yeah, so obviously we get a ton more vats now, which is cool. I don't think this one is dead, is he? He is dead, okay. So two crit shots. Took him out. Were they crit shots? The ones that slow down in vats? Aren't they considered crits? Actually not sure about that. So we're making our way through. We're doing okay. We are low on stim packs, stim packs, which is a problem if we get crippled too many times. Fuck oh, me. What sort of gun is that? Hunting shot. Okay. Have a look at our weight. Getting up there, but we've still got a little bit of room. Twelve missiles, eh? We haven't really used the Cazador launcher, have we, very much? I 
I think we might have messed around with it a bit. Halfway through the video now. Just let my kids know about half an hour left for them to finish up doing what they're doing. After this guy, another one over there. Alrighty, let's rock and roll. Dad's got half an hour left to play his games, all right? Oh, wow. Wasn't expecting that. This gun is pretty lethal, though. Lots of pillows. Okay, let's do it. We're going to be getting close now. I think we'll just swim. Oh, what have we got here then? Turrets. Is, it? Is that the sound of turrets? Or a minigun? Sounds more like a mi Oh, I see. Hey, didn't once upon a time we ran into a group of robots on the road? Oh, I see. Was that this game? It was, wasn't it? Oh, that was way back. What have we got here? Who's this then? Okay, I should save. Might break out this guy. We haven't used him for a little while. Who are you? Wastelander. Okay, so... Oh, I see what he's shooting. Might stick with this guy for a minute. Can I just take this stuff if I want? Oh, no, okay, never mind. That was a trade. Good. Well, he seems to be okay. It's getting late, isn't it? No, it's not. It's lunchtime, but it's just getting a bit overcast. Where did I just discover then? This one. Lynn Pier, Lynn Parking Station or what? I don't know. Is this the same place? Oh, it's this. Oh, the station. Okay, that's another subway. Uh, okay. Nice. So you actually get eggs from them. Interesting. Alright, we've got to be close now. So we've just got to go down here. Although that wasn't the exact location of the job, was it? No. Okay, so it's up there. Oh, 
Oh, turned the wrong way. Is this the little farm? Little farmstead? Can't quite remember. I think it might be, but I'm not I'm not too sure. It's hard to tell with all the forest trees and Thought I was hearing some heavy footsteps, but I think it's just us. action well it's helpful docked military supply barge This is the sort of place you'd think would be something stashed underwater. We still haven't found any loot underwater yet. I don't think. I think we might have found like a, a, a chem box at one point, but not like deep underwater, just on the, like walking around at this sort of depth. Are these explosive shells or what? I don't actually know what that is. Like unexploded shells, you know what I mean? All right, we're nearly there now, guys. So let's get a save in, a proper save. Look at the look at the, the time on this. One day, eleven hours. It's at twenty-four, thirty-five hours. Nearly thirty-six hours of gameplay. Pretty epic, really. It says it all, doesn't it? And I'd say we might be like a third of the way through. In terms of video of the series, you know, which is pretty cool. So here's our location. Oh, you bastard. That would have been perfect. A little bit lower. Didn't have time to actually land, did it? That's what I meant. Would have been perfect if it didn't explode early. Come on then. Savage. Okay, looks like we've got a good good group here, guys. Might give us a little bit of a run for our money, this one. Look at this guy here. Reminds me of like a cricket. Okay, maybe not so much him. This gun is a bit of a beast, though. Where are we? Yeah, they've run off, have they? This is by far the best gunplay I've ever experienced in Fallout 4. This combined with Zombieland, with the actual enemies with guns, but these guns and the way this is tailored, the way it's designed, you know, it's just awesome. I can't, I can't fault it at all. Oh crap. 
Yeah, we're in a mess here. We're in a mess. And I'm low on health. That's my last impact. Need to get out. Get out of here and get a bit of a clearer view. Where are we? Okay, we've got some invisible. Wow. Okay, well that saved us. What happened to those invisible guys? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I don't know whether we're, we might not be ready. Yep. Okay, is that everyone then? Guess not. going to be cool if possible to make those things invisible constantly so no matter what you never get to see what they look like even when you kill them they never reveal their true form so you just oh it looks like we've got a bit of a crash here guys interesting all right give me a moment and i'll get it never mind i accidentally paused when i didn't need to but the game just You're not getting me now, bro. Not gonna happen. Not after all that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what. Don't know what that was about sorted itself out we don't have any more stim packs oh we do we must have picked some up okay cool well let's get some aid into us then all right got a little bit hairy on stage there i didn't think we had any more stim packs we must have picked some up what's this place Yeah, that's what I was saying, wasn't it? Those things should never reveal their form. They'd just be, you know, they'd become sort of a legendary horror. So you never get to see them. Jesus. Let's get the shotgun out, eh? We haven't used this much. There's just nothing like it. I've never played this. In a way that feels this satisfying. With the guns and, you know, I don't know. I'm just going to stop commenting on it and enjoy it, all right? We've got another stim pack there. What are you doing, you?
Get it, bro. Out of there. How far away have I come from our actual destination? <coughs> Feels like a long way. Out of it. Crap. He's doing it again. These guys go for double, double trouble. Crap, he bit me. It's getting a bit squeezy, guys. Do I not have any more grenades? Wait, wrong button. Wow, I came quite far away, didn't I? Come here, you. Uh-oh. All right, let's have it. <laughs> oh, man. He went for a ride, didn't he? That was pretty intense. Give me all the goodies. Feels good to work for it, you know. You still get moments like that. So you can't say that it gets too easy, really. But, you know, there's there's definitely room for a more hardcore flavour. Alright, let's get back to our original mission here. Let's check our ammo as well. What am I trying to do here? Yeah, okay, so we're not bad. We're all right, we're still okay. So our actual destination is up here. And we got our level up. Oh, okay. I think I remember this place or is it that one? Yeah, I think I've been here before. I've tried to set this place up. Group Manor, that's it. I think, you know, I set over here once upon a time with the Conquest mod. You know, after scanning the map, thinking where would be an epic place to set up a base and discovered sort of round here. And then I get over here and find out it's already an actual settlement, which is cool. And that would be us with another settlement ready to rock and roll. Let's do a super duper quick bit of scrap in here. Uh, okay, we'll get all that stuff. Uh oh. And just in time, we run out of space. Which was quite lucky. Oh, 
All right, I'll tell you what. How long have we got here? 50 minutes, okay. Hey, guys, we've got 10 minutes left, okay? 10 minutes left, we'll be finishing up. All right. Where's that workbench? Here it is. So we'll get this place defended. We should have the resources. Righty then. I think that's everything. Okay, so what are, what are we doing here? We're unlocking a desk, are we? Hmm, I don't remember unlocking a desk before. Bedroom key. Oh, is that for that room we've just... Or was it for this room? Yeah, okay. Good night, sweetheart. Basement key. Jesus, what is this place? It is death. All the stuff. Okay, all right, all right. I'm trying to move on, but I'm not. The game's not letting me. Let's check out the basement, get it cleared, and then we'll finish up by building our defenses. And then we're down to like 22, is it? 23? Ooh, okay, there's a decent bit of stuff going on here. Board the board. Maybe I shouldn't be in this menu right now. Sometimes you just want to unload all over the zombies. I'm going to rephrase that. Sometimes you just want to unload your gun all over a zombie's forehead. You know what I'm trying to say. Don't say anything. Okay, so there's not that many zombies down here. Not so bad. But the vault sound has returned. Something about these indoor, sort of under... You know, like underground, semi-underground... Uh, facilities, I think. Although even some of them weren't underground, were they? They were just indoors. Nice. Still got a bit of room to... Okay, I want to actually have a look at this. Uh, for this gun we've got literally equipped. Yeah, so like these, all these guns is too, it's too much, you know. It's too much to get all this, in terms of survival, for a survival difficulty. You just, there's no struggle. You could do with probably 10% of these guns, you know, one or two decent versions of each type. Even one, really. 
like this. That's that's your gun, you know. I like. But it's nice to have lots of different guns. But they should be much more difficult to get, in my opinion. Yeah, we don't actually have a lot of the gear for these for this. So that's okay. Um, I really just want to put a suppressor on it though at the moment if I can. No. Hmm. Probably go with that one, I guess. All right. Let's get out of here, build our defenses, get this place secure. Five o'clock. So, another good day for Ground Zero content on the channel. Tomorrow, I think we might have to do the same with Zombieland Conquest. It is nice to stick to one game. You know, you can really make some good ground in it. You're not f switching back and forth between mechanics and, you know, progress. Certain levels of progress. See what we can do around here really quickly. Plant some food out here, I suppose. We don't have any food here already. We have a few trees around. <laughs> like, like, these things were terrifying when I first encountered them. Where is he? Come on, man. Like, I love the fact that you can't, um... Yeah, we have no more stim packs. I love the fact that you can't target them with vats. That's brilliant. But I just think they should stay invisible. Like, don't reveal the head location, you know. Because once you know you're, going, you're aiming for the head... Well, you're always aiming for the front of them, aren't you? It, not that it's that easy to tell, but... I just think you'd get so much more out of them if you never ever saw what they were. Now then. I don't have a ton of oil. So once again, we fall into the kind of trap. Although this doesn't take oil, but it does take four fiber optics and three circuitry. That takes five oil. That only produces two, though. Oh, it's a spotlight. Okay. Six oil. And we're going to have to build a couple of these anyway. Not that one, this one. Call me Charmer. Why am I crouched? <laughs> Ooh, looks like we found ourselves some oil. Oh, is it empty? Bugger. Empty paint cans, I don't think they have any oil in them, do they? OK, 
Okay. So that's going to be about, what is it, 20 defense? Guess we could buy ourselves a couple of robots. Is this typing desk? Guard post. Copper, steel. The circuitry on that is steep, but these do produce 10. That's probably quite a good uh, three shot laser turret. Probably quite a good investment, to be honest. To get us close to that 60 mark. I look forward to being able to build these, to make these. Four, and they only cost a hundred caps. All right, and one more, um, something or other, maybe a guard outpost, guard post. Anything a little bit meatier on the defense? Suppose we could put up two, couldn't we? It's a little bit weak, isn't it? That thing. Although maybe something up here. Yeah, I mean it's a bit low for a proper defense, but uh, we also need. We'll build one more before we build anything else. Hard balcony. Where's the entrance to this place? Down here, behind us. A little bit hard to see, isn't it, because of the fog? Where's the other side to the water? Is there another side over here? It's quite far away. All right. Hmm. Maybe let's build somewhere at the front of the house. The balcony there. Something like this, yeah. I'll try and make it kind of fit in with the design a bit. In front of the actual, you know, overlooking the entrance to the house. Now, normal resources. Let's just get our uh, people here. There's a combat settlers one, isn't there? Let's get these guys involved. Okay. We're nearly done now, guys. We're super close. Oh, we don't have any beds. Okay, well, we need beds. Now, where are my awesome ladders? They should still be in this pack. Even after I did the update, I put the couple of things back in. Mm, 
items in wood. There we go. Super cool. Now, are you going to snap for me or what? Probably nowhere around here for you to snap, is there? And we do have multiple sizes. That's probably too big, yeah? Yeah, we don't need that. Well, I guess somebody could climb up and sit on the roof. Anyway. For now, we're just looking for this. Just test it out, make sure it works. Very, very, very cool. And do we need to put mats on this? I feel like we do. Chair mat, so what? I've got to put a chair there though, don't I? Let's get one, one sitting and one standing. I know you wouldn't, you know, maybe he's just sitting down for a minute. Okay, defense is at 56. We should have two settlers here somewhere. Oh, we've got one. And. Get him on this one, I guess. If I can reach it. Oh, I can't. Alright, we'll put him there. And one more settler. And we're at the 60 mark then. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, we're already above the 60 mark. That's alright. Resources now assigned, so we are at 62 defense. Which is really cool, and it's very late. And it's late enough here in the real world too for me to say good night to everyone. Watching, thank you for checking in for this episode of Ground Zero. We've done four today, which has been amazing. My kids have been brilliant, allowing me to work. It's not very often that I have them um, on my work days, you know. Sometimes I when I have them on the Saturday, Sunday, Monday, um, I tend not to do too much. But since it's the school holidays, they're here on a work day, which is really cool. And they have been amazing, so well done, guys. Thank you checking in on this video we will be back tomorrow but we will be back with i do believe some more zombie land conquest and we'll give ground zero a little bit of a break but let's just finish up see where we're at we've got 23 workshops left which is still quite a few but we'll just keep the same sort of process i think exploring as we go we do have, we do need to go back to red rocket and rehash our situation with our supplies drop off all our guns now let's have a look anything here that we could sneak attacks do 50 percent more damage that's probably a good one we do we do oh okay sprinting drains your action points half as fast what does the next level do oh that is the next level Action points regenerate even faster in combat. Also while moving. And sprinting drains action points half as fast. Chance to find legendaries and more bottle caps. Find even more ammunition. That's probably a good one. Although it requires Lux 7. Which we don't have. Chemist. We're not really bothered about chemist. Science 4. Oh, there's gun nut as well. Gain plus 4 strength. Minus two charisma and regenerate health below 40%. Quite like the idea of that one. We're not really fussed about charisma, are we, in this pack? Although, I think I'm going to go with this. Sneak attacks do 50% more damage because we are using... 
Oh, I need agility six, do I? There's so many that I want to get. Let's take this one then. What we got here? Pain train. Move faster and jump higher when walking underwater in power armor. Sprinting into enemies hurts and staggers them. Aqua boy, stay hydrated, drink water. Did that just add four to this? That one we just got. Did it add four to this? Maybe it did. I'll review that in the footage. What are we at here? How many minutes? 111. Okay, cool. So I'll have a look at that. I want to see if that added four, actually added four stars. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. Anyway, doesn't matter. Video is over. Thank you for checking in. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Goodbye for now.